Hey guys, you're watching Fitness Regiment, and this is the first League de Conquest tutorial. I'm going to go through the whole process. So let's just go ahead and pause this video since I brilliantly forgot to record the banning process. So I'm just going to talk quickly about what type of gods you want to ban and why you want to ban them. So depending on uh, when you see this video, this might be not be applicable for those specific gods. So make sure to look up the meta if you're unaware or if you haven't played in a while. Now, the way it works is the first person to ban, which in this case was me, is the person with the highest elo. And from what I've heard and what I know, the next four is just a random order. So first person highest elo, the other four just a random order. Now, you, the first person is the one who bans everything and gets the first pick. So what you want to do is make sure you ban Bastet. Why? Her ult. Her ult will kill anyone early game. Um, you, even if you use hog, if you're being chased, you're dead. Now, the second one you want to ban is Sir Cat. She is sneaky, sneaky, and her ult will cripple you. The third one is more optional. You can go for Athena because her CC is insane, and you do not want to be laning against her. Then you can either ban Sylvanas because his lane clear early game is really, really strong, or if you just want to go ahead and ban Bologna so that your solo has some peace of mind, that's also good. Another thing you can do if you have first pick and you know what you're going to pick is um, remove your counter. So for example, if, you're going, if you know you're going to pick Poseidon, uh, you can ban Isis. So other than that, that's kind of the banning process. So make sure to ban either a very strong counter, but also make sure to ban the most OP gods like Bastet early game. So let's continue and unpause. Uh, what you go, you go, du Duro, Duro goes mad. He's really, really, really okay. Good. Let's pause that again after I just said that. Um, the reason that we're talking like this is first of all, there's a couple of things you're gonna want to do. First of all, try to get everyone on your team onto curse. This will give you a huge advantage because speaking is way faster than typing. So if everyone's on curse, you can all speak and you can all plan this out and you don't really have that much time to plan it out. If everyone wants to go something different and no one has any idea what's going on, then that's just bad teamwork. So curse is a big, big, big advantage in leagued, especially in the higher end leagued. Now, what is happening is that we're deciding. There's no such thing as calling on this. You can ask, for example, this guy said, can I ADC? But he was third pick and I really wanted to ADC and I was first pick, so I went ahead and did that, especially since I know that I'm a fairly good ADC. So if you go into leagued, be prepared to play any role, including support. Because for example, Duroc, since he's last pick, he might not have a chance to pick something else. But we're duo queuing, so I really wanted him to go mid because I trust his mid ability and I know that he's a good mid player. He is a very good support too, but I prefer him going mid just in case we don't have a good mid. So let's continue. Yeah. Um... Oh, you're asking me what I want? Okay, I if, if, yeah. What? Or <laughs> Are you going? Okay, I'm gonna pause that again. Okay, so Duroc asked for Isis, but the guy locked Poseidon, so that's pretty funny. But um, Duroc's okay with Poseidon, but lack of communication is bad because, for example, if someone doesn't have Poseidon and you just lock Poseidon, you're gonna be stuck playing mid. So make sure that when you're picking for someone else, that person has the god, that person likes the god, and that person's good at the god. Because if one of those three things are not true, you're gonna be in trouble. Okay, let's continue. Uh, listen, listen, Angel. Anyone in pit? Pick a super. Oh, pixel, pixel once, yeah, and I'll so go bonus. sport. Pixel bonus. Okay, I'm gonna awesome. pause again. The reason we're asking him to pick Sylvanas is that Sylvanas has insane lane clear early game. And Shibalanki, which I'm playing with Sylvanas, means that I can give him attack speed buff early game, and he can just clear lane and clear lane, and then we're going to have a gold advantage. I'm going to get Devourers first. He's going to be able to peacefully rotate into XP camps, uh, while hopefully they're going to have to back. So that's a huge advantage. Let's continue. Um, Jake, so are you going mid? Yeah. Okay. Who, uh, who see Banos? Who goes to Rock? I'll do it, I'll do it. Okay. If we can get Hun Bats, that would be awesome. Okay. 
Depends who they. Look. Depends who they yeah, pick. Yeah, depends. We have to counter pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who should I ban? Um. Well, their first pick. So. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna pause here ban, again. Ban, ban. It's always good to take feedback from your team on who you want to ban because, for example, some people are very bad at playing against the specific god because they just haven't quite figured him out yet. And they should probably do so in casuals, but in case they haven't, it's important to ask. For example, Bologna. A lot of people don't like uh, laning against her. I really don't mind, but you do not want, for example, your solo laning against a Bologna that he doesn't like and then end up uh, feeding some early game kills which might throw the game and then you're gonna end up with a fed Bologna So it's really important to listen to team feedback But then it's also really important to make sure you ban the gods that you don't like for example Bastet and Sir Ket and even Athena in my case That's Either ban yeah I Might want to ban Bakasura actually Okay, I'm gonna pause here. Now, the reason that Maleos is confused is because he's not in curse. So you see, he's completely out of the communication right now, and they've already decided that Angel is switching with Duroc. So now Maleos is stuck there typing stuff, who, what are you going, solo or jungle, when he has no idea what we're already planning. So if you're the only one not in curse, or some people are not in curse, try to join it. Even if you can't speak, just download it and just listen. It's really important for communication. <sighs> Yeah, it's on that. It's, uh, um, Jor? who do you want? Jor? No, okay, we're done. Who does you want? Ra, okay. Arachne, we need. I prefer Mary or Arachne. You best. We need Arachne, I think, maybe. Oh. Of course he doesn't. Who the fuck does Mike I think you had to play Wheelix, I would say go Wheelix. Yeah, Mercury is good on late game. No, 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 no! Oh god. No. That was fine. He's good early game, but if, if he doesn't get fed, okay. he's shit. Okay, so I'm gonna pause here again, and the reason is you should never do that without telling your team. Because, for example, Thanatos, in this case, it was really good. But Thanatos, most of the time, does not work out unless the enemy team is bad against Thanatos, basically. If you're playing Thana, you're counting on the enemy team not knowing how to counter or how to play against a Thanatos in their lane, which is a very risky thing to do, especially when you get into higher leagues. Thank God that this team didn't really know what they're doing, and if you check further videos, we did pretty well. But I'm going to continue here, and please just don't do this. When people um, tell you what to pick, tell them you don't want to pick it, and then we'll give you something else to pick, or say what you want to pick, and then we'll, you'll see how the team responds. For example, if I want to pick Shibalanki, and everyone just goes, no, 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 pick, pick uh, Cupid or something, obviously, okay, that's a bad example, because I prefer Shibalanki, and there's not really a huge difference, but y you get what I mean. Let's continue. Solo lane. Si pillan a Hércules te revientan a te, pille, te revientan Ángel. Sí. No dice que no. Sí sí. Sí. Ya toma. Listo. ¿Qué? <laughs> ¿Qué? No no no. I say Hércules Hércules versus Rafa. El burro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My friend, no problem. Uno, dos. Alexi, just shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's the extent of my Spanish. Te va a reventar, Ángel. Ángel, te va a reventar. Ya te lo digo. Sí. Ya verás. 
Y encima no puedo ir a gankear porque va a pillar defensa mágica. El único que te va a gankear es Thanatos. Sí. Thanatos, gang, gang Rai, ¿ok? Ya, ya, ya. I gank uh, left and you right. He's not in call. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna pause here again. See, that's a major thing. For example, now we can't type in the loading screen. The loading screen is a good 10 to 20, even 30 seconds if some people have slow connections. Um, that's that's a lot of time in order for us to speak and plan what we're going to do. I don't think we really did in this case, but for example, asking Thanatos to gank right is a good thing to do. Okay, I'm gonna pause here again, and the reason is I just remembered something that is quite fun to do and might help you. Now, if you have some time and you're faster typing, what you might wanna do is remember some of these names and look them up on Smite Guru just to see who you're up against and who you're laning with, and maybe look at some of their past games if you have a quick moment, especially for example me. Okay, I know my support in this case, but you might wanna look up your support to see his skills and see if he fed last game and just, just know how to play with him. Like know if you can trust him to push a lot early game or if you're gonna wanna play defensive if he hasn't played well in his history and he's just lower elo than you for example okay guys I think that was it for today, I think I've explained enough about how to really start the leaked game, but if you're interested in finding out more, make sure to check out my further videos where I'm going to completely analyze this game. I'm going to go through the whole game and explain every step of what we did and why we did it. He's good, he sucks. Alexei, it's the wrong way, dude. Sí, le baja muy rápido, eh. Alexi, come here. Healing down where when I tank. Get this beat. <laughs>